Hey guys, welcome to Tandem's Toys. Um, for, so for this first episode, what I thought we would do, um, well you can see, so the toy room is a disaster. So what I thought I'd do for this first episode is kind of go through all of the toy room, show you what we got. Uh, you can see I've already started boxing up a bunch of it because what I'm going to do is basically pull it all out of here and reorganize and make it uh, make it presentable. So moving forward, we could have some good episodes reviewing toys and uh, just going, you know, giving a good presentation uh, moving forward. Um, so let me let me just kind of walk you through real quick. We'll start over on this side. You can see these shelves are already uh, pretty empty over here. And that's because I've put them in these boxes. So let's see what's in the boxes real quick. Um, the first box we got here is uh, all the vintage, uh, all my vintage Star Wars. So you can see, let's just pull pull out and see what we get. So like here's Leia. Oh my goodness, that's not what I wanted to do. There's C-3PO. Anyways, there's so there's a whole box of the vintage Star Wars stuff here. Let me aim down so you can see. Yeah, IG-88, the Rancor Keeper. Anyway, so that's what's here. And in fact, those actually came from right over here. You can see these shelves are pretty empty also. Uh, what was up above was what's down in these boxes, which is all the old... Uh, let me throw this on the ground. This was uh, all your old 90s X-Men stuff. So that's all in these two boxes here. Uh, in the ground, on the ground already down here, I've got... Uh, some of my favorite stuff actually is my my D and D figures, um, so we can see that. Like I think this is yeah. There's War Duke. He was one of my favorite. There you go. You can see him there. Um, and then also my GI Joe, my vintage GI Joe. I don't have much at the moment that's that's actually carded, but uh, that's all down there already boxed up. Uh, another one of my favorite collections is the Batman animated stuff. Uh, I'm a huge Harley Harley Quinn fan, and when I say that, I mean way before. Uh, the movie, way before all this stuff, I was a big fan of her from the uh, animated series. The episode Mad Love is one of the greatest cartoon episodes ever. Um, so anyways, because of that, I, I definitely collect all the uh, Batman animated series stuff just because, well, the series is so good too. And then back here, we've got uh, uh, the DC Comics Superpowers stuff in there. This box, I've already boxed up all my Minecraft stuff. If you uh, If you follow this channel, you know I play a lot of Minecraft. Um, so I have all my Minecraft uh, figures in here. I've got a, as a Minecraft fan and as a toy collector, I've got to have the Minecraft stuff, right? Uh, in the back of this box, if you can see right back in here, um, I have my re reaction figures, the ones that I have, which are, uh, they're actually the Goonies and Firefly stuff. Um, in here, I have kind of my two collections already boxed away, my uh, uh, Harley Quinn stuff and my Deadpool stuff. By the way, I know they're the two probably most cliched things to, you know, cliched characters to be fans of. I, I'm telling you, I was fans of these guys way before any of the hype. Um, but now they're like the two most popular characters probably in the in the comic world. Um, on the on the back here, I've got uh, the 40th anniversary uh, uh, Darth Vader just came out. I need to... Uh, I need to get the rest of the series. I kind of missed out on it. I need to. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the rest of those that series there. Um, and then, of course, who doesn't need an unopened box of Dino Pebbles from 1992? I don't think. Uh, I don't think they're any good anymore. Um, I love that kind of stuff. Speaking of, I have a whole stack. All this right here. I know it's it's weird. All this right here. These are uh, cereal boxes. They've been flattened and then put in protective sheets. So I'm a huge pop art, commercial art lover. Uh, I have a degree in commercial art. I don't actually use it, but I, I have one. Um, I mean, when I was a kid, I was that's what got me into comic books, was just loving kind of the pop art and that that commercial art. The bo I just love... There's no better commercial or box art than cereal boxes. So I, I don't know. It's a weird... It's a weird thing I keep, but I've, I've got ones going all the way back to the 80s in this stack. You can see it's actually... Quite a quite a stack of uh, of boxes, but anyways, so that's uh, and then there's a full box of Dino Pebbles. I wouldn't advise eating them. Um, hanging on the wall, I actually have all my autographs that I've gotten through the years. Um, you can see starting here, I've got like the Buck Rogers stuff. There's a Never Ending Story Kid. Um, that's uh, Warwick, um, you know, from Wicket, uh, or you know, the the pictures from Wicket. Um, Buck Rogers. My uh, few uh, Doctor Who autographs, um, I dream, dream a genie, and then and then Batman. The ones that uh, 
I'm glad I have one. I'm glad I went ahead and got Adam West. So when it comes to my autographs, like I, I don't like, like I don't think I would ever get a Harrison Ford autograph, you know, for Hansel. It's just I, I, I like the more obscure. Uh, I, I like to look at my autographs and they make me kind of chuckle a little bit because it's a more obscure character that I one that I'm into. So I love Battlestar Galactica. And I love Neverending Street. Like I love all these things that I get autographs from, but they're the little, they're the more obscure characters. So Adam West, I passed on for a long time. Um, I'm glad I went ahead and got it considering he just passed away recently. Um, so I'm glad I got that autograph. And then I got this Ivanka Craig here, uh, Batgirl, a long, man, I got that a long time ago. And I'm glad I did that too. Um, cause she passed away a few years back. Right. Um, speaking of autographs, the other one, let me swing around. These are my star Wars autographs. You can see, uh, I've got Bullock's autograph, Prowse's autograph. That's Carrie Fisher, Anthony Daniels, and Mayhew there. Uh, I'm glad I went ahead and got Carrie Fisher's autograph. That's another one I passed a long time on just because she's so mainstream, and I just, I don't know it. But I went ahead and got uh, got that autograph. I'm glad I did considering she just passed away also. So anyways, that's my kind of autograph wall. Uh, they just make me smile when I look at them. Uh, you know, because most of these people... There's little stories when you get their autograph. You know, they, they're they very personal, especially the lesser known. Uh, Barbara Eden was just the sweetest lady ever. She was so, uh, and, and still just pretty as could be, like I thought. She was just just the sweetest, cutest little thing. I, I mean, I really enjoyed meeting her. Um, um, uh, Bill Bill Daly was, I mean, he was just nice as could be. Uh, what's his name? I forget his, I forget, uh, I forget, uh, God, I forget his name, Apollo's name, whatever his real name is. Um, but I swear he was either drunk or really hungover. I mean, he had dark shades. I mean, it's just awesome, awesome stuff to uh, to meet these people. Uh, and Carrie Jillian was, of course, you know, as cool as could be. Uh, yeah, I, I'll meet her all day, every day. Anyways, moving on. Um, so anyway, so what's left on the shelf up here is basically just some of my horror stuff uh, and a rocket raccoon pop vinyl for some reason uh some glasses some D dc warner brother glasses um i've always just i've got those years and years ago i really like them uh what's left up over here some of the marvel legends stuff still sitting up there i need to uh box those away and then we'll figure out where they're gonna go oh and then what's left of the harley quinn this is where all my harley quinn stuff used to sit all this left is the drop the bomb whoopee cushion uh, you can't how can you not have that in your collection um moving down the way I got my Ikea case here hanging on the wall, which has all my McFarlane, uh, McFarlane figures. Let me just kind of scan down. Um, I got, I've gotten rid of most of my McFarlane stuff over the years. Every, all my card is stuff. I've sold them or whatever. I just kept the stuff that I really like. I, I actually pulled them out and cause they're, they're just, they're almost sculptures. Um, that glare is really bad. Maybe you can see there's the big ape. He's totally awesome. The Creech is just an amazing sculpture along with the elephant. Uh, moving on down like i think that is spawn three i just it was so impressive when it first came out uh with the big wings uh sam and twitch there's totally cool um down here the heap is an amazing sculpt so anyways i keep those in this this case here um i've got a vintage this is a vintage slave one that i refurbished and have hanging on the wall if you can see that uh sitting here is the new lego um uh, millennium falcon uh, along with some random stuff. That's actually a straight arm G.I. Joe sitting there just randomly. Um, back up top, we'll keep going. Uh, I've got a, a couple Dark Knight figures and then the two Batman six. Sorry for the shaky camera. I'm trying not to trip over all these boxes on the floor. But I got the two uh, Batman 66 surfboard figures. I, I grew up surfing, so I, I just I love that kind of stuff. So I had to pick those up. All my Tick figures. I'm a huge Tick fan. Um, got all, have all the comic books, bottom way back when, when they, when they came out. Um, always love the tick, the new, speaking of guys, the new Amazon, I think it's on Amazon, the new ticks, uh, series, I believe it's on Amazon prime. Uh, if you haven't, if you haven't seen it, watch it. It's great. They actually did it right. It's very good. It's actually wonderful. I, I've watched it twice. Um, so check that out if you get a chance. Um, I got Hong Kong Fui. Uh, speaking of surfing, I have that figure cause the, uh, my first surfboard I owned, I actually painted Hong Kong Fui on. Um, so it was kind of nostalgic when I saw that in the store. I had to pick it up. An old classic ro robot, uh, the venture, my venture brother stuff, and my speed racer stuff. Hopefully, you can still hear me. Uh, the camera's kind of far away. 
Uh, but you can see I have them loose with the Mach 5 and Trixie and Chim Chim and all those, all the all the Speed Racer. Um, this is the, what do you call this, G.I. Joe jet? I forget what it's called. The Falcon or whatever it's called. Um, anyways, I have that hanging here. I've refurbished that. I think, I think the only thing I'm left that I need is one of the missiles there. But you can see it's fully refurbished. I have a re-release Millennium Falcon hanging on the wall here. Um, down here is the vintage original Millennium Falcon that's I'm currently refurbishing. I actually need to work on. And then behind the door, let me close this door a little bit. Uh, you can see there's the uh, uh, space, uh, the Death Star, um, which I is, I fully have refurbished. I just need the cardboard pieces that go up front. In fact, let me step in the closet. I can show you. I have them. Let me see if I can show them to you. I have them. They're just really in tattered shape, what I have. Um, and then I even have the box. Here's the box itself uh, for the for the Death Star, which there's about a half a Death Star in there, just extra pieces from when I was refurbishing this one. Um, but I, I still need the cardboard, or at least quality cardboard pieces, and that'll have that finished. I even think, I think I have, let me double check on this. Whoops, I didn't pull the whole thing up. I'm trying to do this one-handed. Did I have, I thought I got the foam for it even. I, no, I didn't, but I do have the the little creature that goes in there. Okay. Um, anyways, uh, moving along on the window still here, I got a Death Bar, uh, Death, uh, Darth Vader, uh, action figure case, um, some little figures from Japan. Um, and then these are my muscles. These are actually my muscles I had when I was a kid. Um, had them all these years, pinhead picture for whatever reason. But then here's the, my walking dead stuff. Not sure what I'm going to do with all this, with the walking dead stuff. I love the walking dead. I love the comic book even more than the show, but uh, I love them both. So I might put them somewhere. I'm not sure once we reorganize this room. Uh, snow speeder, vintage snow speeder I refurbished. Uh, I think, did I finish? I'm trying to remember if I got, oh no, I need the I need the hook. There should be a, I believe there's a grappling hook that goes on the back of this that I need. Um, some pictures and then, what is his name? I can't even remember his name, but from, from Doctor Who, he, of course, signs it, uh, Tim, love you. Uh, he was a super nice guy. Uh, I can't, I'm totally drawing a blank on his name right now, and I can't read his autograph. But uh, anyways, great character and a great guy. Um, let's move to the cases here, I think. So this is all my Star Wars Legos. Uh, you can see this is the original Millennium Falcon. Um, there's the Jabba the Hutt stuff, all that. Kind of working down. That's the original X-Wing, um, TIE Fighters. Uh, there's the Y-Wing. You know, they've done these a hundred times, but these are the first go-rounds with them. Um, there's Yoda and R2, the AT-AT. Uh, I've got the Snow Speeder stuff. Um, there's all the different uh, Land Speeders. There's even one in the back, if you can see, that's still boxed. Uh, not much. A few more down here. Over on this side is the Ewok Village, if you can see it behind the trash can and all there. So that's my Lego Star Wars. Um, and then up top, I have the big deluxe editions. So that's the, uh, what are they, the TIE Fighter, sorry. And then X-Wing here. I also have, uh, there's a Star Destroyer too. Uh, but I also have the uh, Slave One. It's just in another room right now. I've got to get all this cleared up. I've got all these little guys. I buy these because I love the little figures. And I buy them for the little figures. So I think I'm going to take and take these figures and put them into cases like you see back here. Um, and then just kind of throw all the little vehicles in a box somewhere or something. Um, just to kind of clear that up a little bit. Um, the rest of these cases are the 12 inch figures. So you can see here's Obi-Wan and Darth Vader, Imperial Guard, uh, the Emperor himself, um, Queen Amidala, stuff like that. These again are Japanese, uh, little Japanese figures. This little Gamorrean guard that's actually from the late seventies. I've had that since I was a kid. Uh, there's the Cantina band. Uh, these are the Taco Bell cups that came out with the Phantom Menace. I've kept, I kept Yoda, I kept R2-D2. Uh, and I've got Darth Maul somewhere also. The rest, I've actually, I've got them all. But those are the three that I think I'm going to keep. Um, the rest, I think I'm going to get rid of on eBay or whatever I can do with them. Uh, here's 12-inch uh, Wampa and Luke. 12-inch Tauntaun and Han. I just think those are totally cool. 
uh, Mr. Potato Head, some some statues and banks and uh, and the like. Here you go, same down here. Um, oh, and then here's uh, another Star Wars Lego that's just sitting on the floor. Um, up above, by the way, so this is all the Force Awakens black uh, stuff. I think I'm going to take all that down. I don't think I'm going to leave that up. I think what I'm going to do, because in this room, let me step back again. I can show you. This room is not very big. It's probably, I don't know, it's maybe 12 by 12 at the most with a closet. Um, so I don't have a lot of room is what I'm getting at. So I think as far as Star Wars stuff goes, I'm only going to put out uh, original trilogy stuff. So like the vintage figures that we saw over here in the box, the original stuff, of course. Where did I put them? Oh, here. Uh, this stuff I'm definitely gonna gonna put out, um, and then like anything that's just from the original trilogy, trilogy. So like these original black six inch black figures, you know, Jabba, the biker guy. Here's the Wampa and Luke. You know that stuff I'll leave out. All this I think I'm gonna put away, and that's where I think I'll put the fortieth, uh, the fortieth anniversary stuff is up on that shelf. Um, and then of course the vintage stuff will go back down here. There's Harley Quinn statue. That's part of my Harley Quinn stuff there um, i have a bunch more harley quinn stuff that's all boxed away um continuing to work my way down here is my uh, uh these are my childhood D, &D toys uh along with a bosk and a han solo i don't know why those are there but the the figures you see here these are actually from my childhood this i just fell in love with the D, &D figures uh, every time i go in the store i would beg my folks to buy me one um and that's why i've, I've just continued to, to to hang on to those um down here let me back up so you can see. There's actually kind of a shelf I've put together here. This is where all my uh, video game equipment is going to go. So I have, as we speak right now, I have a Xbox, an Xbox 360, and an Xbox One. Uh, I have a, 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 a Wii, and I have a Atari 2600. Uh, I'm also looking to pick up a ColecoVision, and I'd like to get an Intellivision also and then hook them up to the TV. Here is the plan. Uh, and then, of course, I have a ton of games. And we'll see some of that when we go into the closet. But for what's sitting on here now is a ATST that I uh, that I refurbished. I still need the gun for the head. Um, but I've kind of turned it into my pin cup or pin holder. Uh, here's the uh, six-scale uh, Deadpool sideshow figure. Uh, LRC, that's Long Run Comics. So I do uh, comic conventions where I sell comic books. Uh, my company is Long Run Comics. If you see me, say hello. Um, but uh, So I, I set him out, and he's given the big okay to Long Run Comics. Anyways, um, a few other things. Here's the Bat Batman Lego uh, figures. You know, uh, Master Chief. Yeah. Anyway, so just a bunch of random stuff and just quite the mess going on. Um, here's a life-size Yoda given away for the fa at the uh, when the Phantom Menace released. Um, grocery store gave it away. I can't remember which grocery store it was, but I basically um, I stuffed the ballot. I'll be honest. I think I put two books of ballots into the box. Uh, and guess what? They picked my name, so I won it. <laughs> so I got that when the Phantom Menace was released. Um, here's just a box of random Random stuff. There's a Mr. T in there. That's kind of cool. Um, some more Star Wars Legos. But all this stuff is just on the floor is the problem. Uh, there's some comic books here. Um, and speaking of, let's go in the closet. And I can show you the nightmare in there. So all along the right side is comic books. As you can see, they're alphabetized. Uh, the A's are actually in the other room because I'm listing them on eBay as we speak. Um, and then I got more books back there in short boxes. Um, these are all what I consider like the cheap books or the non-valuable books. All the quality books are in another room. So all my golden age, which is, I'm basically, I'm selling all this stuff because all I really care about is golden age. Uh, so all my golden age stuff is in, the, in another room. Uh, one day, maybe we'll take a look at that uh, as a video itself. Um, so, but anyways, yeah, this is a mess in here. So I have all my supplies for boarding and bagging uh, comic books here, uh, card holders, uh, the big the big holders for like the the uh, artwork, which I'll show you in a second. I have a lot of original comic art uh, and and animation cells, so that's what I use these things for. More bags and boards, just a bunch of stuff. Um, let's see, Star Wars board game, Battlestar Galactica, uh, Star Wars trivia. Nobody will play me at because they always lose, but there it is. 
Um, so there's more Legos here. Um, random, I think a bunch of figures that I'll probably just be throwing on eBay. Uh, let's go on down here because here you can see my Atari 2600. Here's my Wii. And then down here, if you can see it, is the original, my original Xbox. Bunch of 2600 games. Um, I'm looking to get more into the video game stuff. I like playing those old games, so I think I'm start picking up some of that stuff. I keep all these boxes. So like, there's the Harley Quinn statue we saw earlier. I keep the box along with like, here is uh, the Deadpool box. So I try to keep all that kind of stuff. Um, so I got to find somewhere for it. Uh, what do I have on these shelves? So I have a bunch of uh, these are uh, GI Joe um, vehicles that I've been refurbishing. Um, got some, well, I got a Dubak or however you say their name. Uh, there's the, uh, helicopter. Here's my Transformers from when I was a kid. I've just always held on to them. Uh, don't really actively collect Transformers, but that's, I've just held on to those, to those because they're from my childhood. Um, these are a lot of supplies I use to fix, <laughs> to, to refurbish toys. Um, here's a, a whole box of, these are all loose. Uh, well, you can see Obi-Wan right there. Uh, I think that's a Boba Fett, if I can see correctly. Uh, but this is a whole container full of loose Star Wars figures. Down here is my G.I. Joe stuff. So these are my complete G.I. Joes. Then I have ones that need repair and then parts. Um, so anyways, it's a bunch of junk. I think there's a Voltron. I just knocked something down over here. Um, but there's a Voltron there on the shelf. That's actually an X-Men play set. I'll probably be getting rid of that. Um, I also have all this stuff. So if, can you see these racks? This is what I use at the comic conventions. There's the legs for them. I even have like, here's my cash box and bags and things. So I've got to put those somewhere too. Uh, so that's what I use when I'm at a comic book convention to, uh, well, to sell all these comic books or at least try to. Um, so let me back back out of this closet. Uh, it was the Anki drive that I knocked down. Ooh, that's way out of focus. Get in focus. Yep, so you can see, there it is. I knocked the Anki drive down. So that's what <laughs> that's what I tripped over just a second ago. Um, let me swing around over here. Ew, I just stepped on, oh, I just stepped on Spider-Man. I think I might have broke him. Oh, yeah, broke his, broke his leg. There you go. That's why you got to clean up, right? Um, I'll glue that back together. Uh, anyways, let me, I was trying to get over here. And you can see I have some uh, animation cells here. So this is like from the Ewoks cartoon. Um, this is from a, a, it was either, I don't know if it was Cocoa Pebbles or Fruity Pebbles advertisement. I've got a bunch of cereal stuff because I just, you know, I, as I said earlier, like here's Captain Crunch. So that's the animation cell from the, I got a bunch of Raisin Bran, but let me skip past that. You can also see I have, like here's the Raisin Bran stuff. Um, but I have a lot of original comic art also. So this is all original pen, uh, pencil and ink, uh, comic book. This was a cover. I can't remember what book. Here's a Deadpool page, a Deadpool pencil page. Uh, you know, what's cool about this, what page, what is, this is from, uh, this is from Deadpool Illustrated page four. But what's cool is you can see on the back, this is what I love about this stuff. You can see where the artist actually started laying out the page on the back before he actually put together what he was going to send off to the inker, right? So that's I think that's pretty cool. Uh, Starfire layout page. Uh, this is from Cartoon Network, the uh, Space Ghost thing. Oh, I love this too. I love this style. Uh, as you know, I'm a you know, like I was saying earlier, I'm a Batman animated guy. So this is from uh, Justice Justice League Adventures, but it's uh, so you can see it's Wonder Woman in that in that same style. Uh, whatever you call these, the tunes, whatever these tune guys are. Uh, this is an X-Men title, I believe. Terminator. You know, we'll take a closer look at all this. Probably there's Archie at some point. Uh, we'll take a closer look at this stuff. Uh, Fantastic Four. This is from Teen Titans. Pretty cool splash page from Teen Titans, I think. I think that looks pretty cool. Um, Silver Surfer. And then I've got, here's, a, here's a, a, the pencil page and the painted page from Ghostbusters. Um, and there's a full cell set up from uh, Flintstones Christmas Carol or whatever they called that. I just thought it was, I thought it looked pretty good. Um, I also, over here, I have a He-Man cell. I don't know if you saw it all hanging on the wall. Um, and then last, I'll step out because it's in a different room because we're on this, uh, on the original, where did they go? We're on the original art thing. So I'll show you the rest of my, or most of the rest, rest of my original art here in just a second. But basically, this is the room. Um, 
Yeah, I've got to get a lot of stuff to fit into a small space. Um, so what, like I said, what I'm going to do is just start pulling all of this stuff out of here and putting it in boxes like I've been doing right here where I can get it out of the room um, and then put it back in in a much more organized way. Um, also, I wanted to point out the world's ugliest couch here. That's going to go. We're going to, I'm going to put something new in there. <laughs> that's, that's not staying here. Um, but let me, let me step out and I will show you the original art real quick. All right, guys. So here's some of it here. I've got more leaning up over here that is actually still wrapped up, uh, from the framer. You can see it's still in the, the wrapping from where it was framed. I'm going to leave those like that. We'll, we'll look at these, uh, later down the road, but I just want to give you a quick example of what's in here. Um, let me put some of these back like so. Let's see. I, I mean, they're literally just laying in my hallway right now because I don't have anywhere to put them. So like here's Tony the Tiger commercial again, serial guy. So there's the painted cell and then there's the, the sketch that the cell came from. I just had it framed up in one, one frame. Let me stand up out of the way. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, this is a Harley Quinn uh, page. I just picked this up not too long ago. Uh, I've got a really nice Harley Quinn piece, uh, but it's wrapped up in those ones that are still wrapped up. This is the, uh, uh, this is my baby here. Uh, if I had a baby, I'd probably sell it to, to keep this. Uh, it's a Michael Turner cover piece. So it's a Michael, Michael Turner, uh, pencil. What is it? It's this, this is a Soulfire hardcover slip case. Um, we all know, you know, Michael Turner died, I think, well, about a decade ago, maybe even longer, uh, young. My favorite artist as a kid, um, he redefined the way the female character is drawn. Um, my favorite, uh, him and, and Arthur Adams are my two just favorite artists ever as, you know, just growing up. So having this, I picked this up about a year ago, um, and there's just not much out there in the open market just because there's not ma that many pieces and they've all, you know, they're in private hands now. So I was totally excited to get get a hold of this. Um, but anyways, that's that's that. I've got... Um, that's an incredible Hulk magazine. Just a bunch of different pieces. We'll we'll do a whole episode on these, I think. Um, anyways, they're just they're just sitting in the hallway right outside of the toy room here. <laughs> so um, yeah, so th that's that's what we got going. Here's it's a mess. Uh, we'll try to get it put together. I tell you what, though, if you if you want to keep following, uh, hit the subscribe button, you know, and keep up with what we do here. I think uh, I'm gonna get it put together and then. Uh, then we can do some good reviews and, and really look at, uh, the kind of the action figures and toys and comic books and everything, basically just pop culture that's been coming out recently, but this will give me a place to do it. Um, and so please, you know, just hit the like button. That always helps. Um, it helps the channel and leave any comments. Uh, if you have any advice or if there's something you want to see or, you know, whatever, just leave, leave me a comment. I really appreciate it. And, uh, you know, we'll get, we'll get on this. So, uh, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.